today I'd like to show you how you can design sort of a brass plate that could go on an image kind of signaling like an award plate that you'd have below an award saying what it is that's presented and I had to do this for a, a project of a series of photographs and I needed something elegant to put on so I did my own brass plate simply so using the custom shape tool first and foremost I'm going to select the shape and if you don't have it loaded go into the little pump out menu and choose banners and awards and choose append now I've only gone ahead and appended this I'm going to click cancel but go ahead and click append and you'll get this one which will be available that you can select and it's called a good name it's called banner 3 simply and with this I'm just going to drag it out holding down shift key to keep it scaled to how this was meant to be and it's going to come in as a big and boring black one so I'm going to double click here to select new color and let's pick sort of a a golden one I'm, I have a color over here that I'm gonna use like this okay so it's looking a little bit more brass like and the next thing up I'm gonna do is go ahead and run the blending mode so let's right click go to blending options here I have my blending options dialog box and let's first go ahead and add a bit of a bevel and emboss. Now the default one isn't going to look that great. But I can still just increase the size just a tad. But I'm going to go down and select, base it off this color here. And I'm going to use a lighter, I'm use a lighter jello here and finish off using not a black, but basing it off it and just using a darker yellow there so with this I'm gonna just soften it up a tad working with the size and the depth just trying to create the effect of a brass plate simply and something like this I think will, will look good and why not just add a little bit of a drop shadow to this let's let it use global light set the distance just a bit increase the size a tad and we've got a drop shadow the next step off here is to add a gradient overlay now it's not going to be the normal black to white one so i'm going to use i'm going to start by pulling in this color this jello color that i just used and I'm going to pick the same ba as base and then go lighter here. And uh, with this as a base, I'm going to click OK. But I don't want a transitioning from top to bottom. I want to pick reflected. This means that it's going to right now place one side here in the middle. So if I decrease the scale, you'll see we get a, a solid line in the middle with the other color at both sides. But I want to rotate this so I get it bit cross here and hit reverse because I wanted the other way around with the lighter one to be in the middle so I'm gonna increase this and I need to make it slightly more dramatic so I'm gonna reduce the kind of darken it down at the, both the sides just a tad and maybe make it just a tad lighter in the middle making it shine a bit more click OK Go ahead and change the angle just a bit more. Increase the scale so we get this sort of brass plate. So I think that's looking really good. Just the last step, I'm going to add a little bit of a stroke to the inside. Not 7 pixels, more like 3 or 2 pixels here. And I'm going to use, again, I'm going to base it with a yellow color. In this case, I'm going to make it really dark. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna slide it out, make it just a, a lighter opacity, something like this. Hit OK, and I have the base of my brass plate. As the final, I want to target the path, and I want to grab my ellipse tool, and I'm gonna make sure it's gonna reduce from this. So I'm gonna select my path using it on actually select the shape layer using it on my shape layer and I want to make sure I pick the right 
mode here. So I can choose whether to exclude the overlapping areas, I can choose to intersect it, but I can also find the one here, which lets me simply subtract, which is this one. So I'm going to let it subtract just a little hanger in all of these sides. So I'm going to use, I'm just going to drag out, say here, and I'm going to just try to do roughly the same size and position in all four corners. So there, I'm just punching a hole through this brass plate, maybe do, well, that wasn't smaller. So something like this in all corners, there we go. Obviously, you want to spend a little more time getting this to look right. Maybe make it a little bit smaller than I did. And then you can maybe just fill, creating a new layer. You can go ahead, maybe use an ellipse tool here to fill this in. With, let's start with a black color here, especially if you made it a bit smaller. And we'd make this look a bit more like there was some nail in here that was actually fitting the pl the hole in a good way. So just duplicating using Command J, placing it in here. And I probably personally want to go with slightly, slightly smaller holes. But here we go. We have a brass plate. We can increase the strength of the gradient if we want here. But you get the picture. It's a brass plate using a couple of simple effects inside of Photoshop.